go. Hey, welcome to Jack's Treasures, where everything is the meow factor. Tracy and I have gone completely insane. We bought a 10 by 30 three days before Christmas. We rented a truck, and we're on our way to go pick it up now. We got it for a next to a song. I mean, we, we were going to bid a certain amount. We didn't even come close to that amount. So. And the amount we were going to bid, we felt like we were way underpricing. We didn't expect to get it. No. Nope. We kind of almost jokingly put the bid in, thinking there's no way we're going to get it. And then we got it for, gosh, maybe almost half of what we put in. So yeah. this was fun. We had to rent a 20 foot truck. Hopefully I can get a 10 by 30 into a 20 foot truck because I'm not driving down to Brookhaven yet again. Yes. I'm making one trip and whatever doesn't fit in the truck is going to be on the top of the truck and it's going to fly the hell off. Heck. Sorry, Atlanta. Okay. But it looks like a great unit. It is a manager special, which manager specials are hit or miss. Uh, some of them are very good. Some of them can be really, really bad. I mean, they are not something I would ever recommend to anybody new to buying storage units. Yeah, I would recommend it. You, know, um, you need to know what you're getting into. Um, we we know what we're getting into. Um, there's furniture yeah, in this. This is the into. furniture is why we're buying the unit. We can we can kill it on the furniture, and there are some mystery boxes. And from what I can see, there's actually mystery boxes of things that we want in this. So also is two racks of clothes that look like they're in decent shape, which they look like they're jackets too. And jackets right now are things to go ahead and purchase. Okay. And again, you just heard Siri telling me which way to go. Oh, look, there's Santa Claus with a mask. I love it. Wow, unbelievable. Well, it is in front of the hospital, so oh, that kind of makes sense. Okay, I'll go ahead and I'll give it because it's in front of the hospital. <laughs> um, I'm not a mask fan. I'll just let you all know that and we'll leave it at that. Uh, <laughs> but th we're excited about the unit. We are going to film opening up the unit and going yes. in. It is at a, at a public storage. Public storages can be really, really good, again, or really bad. This one's in Brookhaven, which is in a very, a very nice, affluent neighborhood of um, of Atlanta, and it's also the site of our best unit we've ever gotten. Was also in Brookhaven, so I think we're going to pause for now, unless Tracy has anything that she would like to add to our craziness. Yes, I'm pretty much just saying we are crazy. Um, three yeah, days three Christmas. days before Christmas. And by the way, we're not ready for Christmas yet. Yeah. We haven't even started our Christmas We haven't shopping. wrapped. We've still got Christmas shopping to do. We have started Christmas shopping. Yeah. We do have some Christmas shopping to do. We still have to wrap. I haven't cooked the first thing yet. And my house needs to be cleaned. And we had to rent a storage unit at the storage facility that we have. Just to make a little bit more over room. Over at uh, uh, Secure Care Self Storage on um, in Dallas on East Pauling Drive. Uh, one of our favorites. We've upgraded. We we got a. I did away with the uh, ten by five, and now we have a ten by ten. So we'll be able to put more stuff in the unit, and hopefully when we sell it, we'll be able to make a little bit more money. But we're gonna first pack it with stuff that's ours. Yes, but really the reason for this unit is to give us furniture to sell in the marketplace, which is very very hot right now. Very good helping us keep that constant cash flow going, which is awesome and fun. Yeah, we still have a lot of video games to still list, which video games we've listed a lot of them, and a lot of them we've already sold. I listed, been, what, about fun. eight video games the other day, and it, it's been less than 48 hours since I listed them. I've sold six of them. I have two left to sell. Yeah, and I listed about uh, ten of them, and I've sold about four of them, so I still got some more up there. And we have hundreds more to list. <laughs> oh, at least. I love video games. Yeah, video games are, are my, one of my favorite things to list because uh, they sell. But not the newer ones. The newer ones are not. They yeah, are terrible. Old, older video don't, games. Don't get out of there. And, yeah. You know, people have them at yard sales all the time for $5. Don't buy them. You can get them online for $3 with free shipping. 
going to take a right here on Macklin. Yeah, I know. Okay, just making sure. Yeah, Anyhow, know. we will take a pause because otherwise we could just talk your ear off all the way to Brookhaven and that's an hour drive and nobody wants to hear that. No. Mm-hmm. Nobody likes to hear we that. Will, talk. We will check back with you when we get the unit opened. Right. See you in a little while. Bye-bye. Bye. We are loading it up. Um, I did something I've never done before. I'm trying to sell these racks straight out of the unit, which we have sold things straight out of the unit, but I'm trying to quickly sell something straight out of the unit. I posted these two racks with these vintage clothes on Facebook Marketplace for $30, which is a great deal for somebody who likes to sell vintage clothes because the racks are well worth that, and then they get some vintage clothes. Hoping we'll get someone around here who bites and wants to come pick them up. Cross our fingers. Yeah. Brian is working, loading this stuff up, getting a little bit deeper in this unit. Don't know if we're going to be able to get all this in the truck. I'm gonna try my best. He's, he's going to try his best. Um, might be coming back with a pickup tomorrow or a small U-Haul. Who knows? <laughs> we'll see what happens. We'll be back in touch in a little bit. Some books. This box is books. Um, right there, that is a jewelry box that we're very excited to get to. See what's in it. It's, it, the top of it is broke. The top is broke, book. but I think that could be repairable, and that's yeah. going to be a really cool piece. People love these chest right um, the, jewelry the boxes. Stenciling like that is just cool as all get out. That might be my first project that I hire Mark for. Yes. <laughs> Mark is our buddy. He does all of our fixing of things. Yes. But as you can see, we're, we're working. We'll be in touch. Oh, that's a serger, I think. It's a serger box, at least. I hope it's the serger inside. If so, that's going to be a big chunk of our money back right there. This was the very bottom box of bottom. a stack of boxes. Very fragile. Very fragile. China, China do, do not, not drop. drop. Okay, we're not going to drop it. They're just going to crush it. This is going to be your lesson for today in packing anything. Don't put your China at the bottom of a stack of anything. Oh, it's all wrapped, so might, might be there. salvageable, but yeah. This was on the bottom. A bottom of this pallet that was stacked taller than me, yeah. probably about six feet tall. Yeah, and books on top of it and everything like that. People are crazy. They are. Still working. Okay, this box here says this side up bedroom one breakable items, bedroom one bookshelf items, jewelry box. Um, inside, inside, we've got a box that says kitchen utensils, which that does look like kitchen utensils. There's actually some cool stuff in here. These little hand mixers do really well in the antique mall. Stuff like that. Um, we've got a, <coughs> pardon me, a lockable, um, Whatever that's called. I can't think of the word. Briefcase, which is open. Oh, yeah. Look in that. Oh, no, it's not open. Crap. 477. Okay. Four seven two. Oh, never mind. 472. Would it be the same one on both sides? Well, that side opened for 472 and it didn't on the other side. All right, it looks like paperwork in there. We'll open that up at a later date. Um, also in here, I've got some dog leashes. All right. And a really, really, really cool um, kind of Native American. Turn it over. It's a drum. Oh, it's a drum. Yeah. Okay, cool. It is marked. It says prayer drum something eagle. So that's definitely something we can look up. Probably has some interest by someone. And then there's one more bag in here. I'm not thinking there was actually a jewelry box in here, unless it's in this bag, which I don't know. This may have been a mismarked box. 
There's a book on palmistry, a little cup, um, huh? No jewelry box. There's some like mystical looking rocks, a little statue, and a tin that used to have fudge in it. And now has, it does have one piece of jewelry in it, but it's just costume jewelry. Oh, goodness. Brian had what he thought was a safe, but it's not a safe. Um, but, no, there is no jewelry box in this box that was labeled jewelry box. So, apparently, some of these boxes are not what they are marked as. So, anyhow, but this is a very, this prayer drum here is very, very cool. Um, I'm actually very excited to look into that. We ate at Moe's um, in Brookhaven. I want to give it. I love Moe's. Um, Moe's is yummy. The people here were super friendly. They're super clean. They got us our order. It was tasty. But we're still working. Here, I'm going to give you this one. I want you to open that one. It's a clean box. Okay. Um, we're going to open one more box here on camera. If we can find something to open it with, because this one's... Nice. I've got um, my keys. i got a knife in my pocket. Books. Um, looks like novels, Patricia Cornwell. Oh. Things like that. Yeah, there is some like um, Joel Osteen religious type books. It's funny because this person seems to be very into like palmistry and um, I don't know what you would call things like that. Astrology, things along that thing, but they are, are also seem very religious so that's kind of to me an odd combination maybe it's not to you um but yeah the stuff just keeps on coming we're getting a little bit deeper in here um we have discovered at this point we are not getting this all in one u-haul trip so we are going to be working again tomorrow and you will be coming along with us hopefully 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 tomorrow I actually bring my correct camera so I can film a little bit easier. Got a box here labeled frogs. Winter socks and hosiery. Just there's boxes everywhere. There's furniture everywhere. I have pretty much declared this to be the biggest bargain we've ever gotten because this unit was jam-packed. And it was cheap. Brian thinks this might be the first vacuum cleaner ever known to man. It's from the early Paleoethic area era. It is a vacuum cleaner, isn't it? It kind of looks like it. I don't know. It's from before my time. It says suction selector, so yeah, I'm thinking that's a vacuum cleaner. Hey, there's something for Eric. A suction selector? No. Oh. He wanted these these things right here. Oh, yeah, he did. You know, hopefully we'll find the carrier and everything like that. He asked for it. Watch your head, too, by the way. Okay. Is that another tater box? Uh, I don't know. Hat, Hat boxes. boxes. But we're just working along. We will come back in a little while and tell you how we're going. Hey, we're back. It's 4.45, uh, 3, and it is completely dark outside. It is not. not. Think that that is a right it is past 7 o'clock. We got the truck loaded up. Uh, we did not uh, get everything in the, uh, the one load. I don't think even if we would have got a bigger truck, I would have got everything in one load. But we got all the boxes, for sure. And we did find a lot of really cool stuff that we're going to be listing and selling and having a lot of fun with and we saw a lot of stuff that we pretty much is going to be going to Goodwill but the good thing with the stuff that we're going to be giving to Goodwill 
it's it's actually stuff they're going to be able to sell. It's good stuff. Yeah. It's, it's just stuff that we stuff don't that really want to sell. I don't really want to deal with it. Tracy doesn't want to deal with it. But there's a um, ton of stuff that we do want. I mean, I'm looking through this stuff and it's like, oh my gosh, we can sell this. We can sell this. We can sell this. We can sell this. Yeah. I mean, this is literally one of the best bargain units we've ever gotten. 270 for a packed, vo voluminous 10 by 30. Yeah, I mean, there's absolutely no doubt that we're going to make a ton of money on this, on this unit. Absolutely a ton. And there were two pieces of furniture that we found that we'll videotape them for you tomorrow. Um, they're in, not in the truck. They're still at the facility. But I guarantee you we'll be able to sell both of those two pieces of furniture for at least $100. Yeah, yeah. really pretty older, like mid-century modern pieces, which yeah. is fun. As you yeah. can see, it's very dark. We're driving kind of through um, Atlanta, what would you call it, calls it like Buckhead, uh, Sandy Vinings, Sandy Springs, yeah, uh, just, we just passed Rays by the River. The world famous Chattahoochee, or the famous Chattahoochee River right now, and yeah. we'll be coming up on uh, uh, where the Braves play yeah. at Truist Park uh, in a little bit, we won't really be able to see it, yeah. but we'll drive by that. Not much to look at, but... We're just figure we'll wrap up the uh, video. Uh, uh, you I'm, to be yawning. I'm sorry. I'm yawning. <laughs> but I figured we would go ahead and wrap up the video now. Um, yeah. We've had an exhausting day. Uh, tomorrow will be another exhausting day. Yep. And we gotta unload this truck first. Right. Into our new unit that we got. We're gonna unload it into that one and some of it over over into at, our. Uh, our warehouse, some of it yep. over at our other warehouse, which is my mother-in-law's basement. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. And um, we're just going to get as much done, and then after we do that, we'll drive the truck back, pick up the rest of that furniture, the rest of the stuff in the pocket, bring a dolly that I have, because we didn't even have the dolly for me to get everything. Sorry, the truck's really loud, it doesn't want to change gears, <laughs> we're going up a hill. Uh, yes, there are hills in Georgia. Oh, it's yeah. Hot, but there are some here. Uh, but if you uh, like what you see, please like, share, subscribe. Uh, Christmas is in three days. We'll be working the entire three days because that's what we do. We will have a video for you tomorrow. Hopefully a little bit more will be filmed during daylight hours so you can see things instead of just lights and cars and stuff. <laughs> I think I just passed where I was supposed to turn. Oh! Wait. Was that, it's Windy Hill that I turned, right? Uh, yes. Okay, no, I think that might be coming up. That was Windy Bridge. Okay. At least that's what the sign said, I thought. Almost positive it said Windy Bridge. There is a Windy yeah, Ridge. Yeah, because okay. there's all that construction that I remember now. There is a Windy Ridge. Okay, so we but like, turn. share, subscribe, tune in tomorrow, and maybe we'll go through a couple of boxes too tomorrow. And make sure you have yourself a very Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. See you next time. Peace. Bye. Peace.